The dish I'm going to prepare now is a simple roast chicken salad. Now I've come up with a salad with things that people would probably throw away. Now the salad is a healthy salad, I'll go through all the ingredients, but it's got some luxury items in it as well. What I've got here is chicken skin. I never throw anything away. We're going to get this lovely and render down and nice and crisp. We've got a chicken carcass. Again, would you make soups with them? We've utilised most of the birds before on other dishes, but I want to take as much from this as I can. More importantly, I've made a dressing. So while I've roasted this chicken carcass, I've lathered it in a good olive oil and just roasted it because I want as much of that flavour from the chicken into the olive oil as possible. Not a lot of fat is in it, so we don't have to worry about that. Not that we do anyway, after all it is a salad. I've got some lovely baby carrots here, tender stem broccoli, some new potatoes, some shiitake mushrooms, and some shikari. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to pickle our mushrooms, because the chicken and mushrooms is a good combination, but I want some, something to cut through the richness of this salad as well. The shikari itself, I've chosen the shikari because it's got a lovely rich and sweet flavour with a hint of bitterness in it. And more importantly, when we come to dealing with the shikari, it becomes almost like a little bowl itself. So, to start off, we're going to take our chicken skins. I'm just going to season with salt. That's just going to help draw out some of that moisture. And then what I want to do is, we'll take our skins and we'll lay them down on the counter. We'll then take a tray and we'll pop a sheet of greaseproof paper on our tray. Now I'm happy with this kind of size just now, so I'm just going to pop that onto the paper. Just cut slightly in with a nice sharp knife into manageable bite sized pieces. Another important part point to remember is just make sure there's no actual meat attached to our skin. Make sure it's all lying flat. And then on top of that, we will add another sheet of greaseproof paper, press it down, and pop on top of that just to keep it nice and flat. Now we're going to put that into the oven at 200 degrees. It's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes. So we'll just pop that into the oven just now. The next part of the dish is our mushrooms. Some lovely shiitake mushrooms here. Just need a little bowl with a sieve in it. And I just want to cut the mushrooms evenly just through the stalks. Just want manageable bite sized pieces. Now, with the salad, it's up to you really what you want to add or quantities. I'm just using up stuff that's already in the, in the fridge or freezer. Now, to our bowl, I just want to take some salt. I want a generous few tons of salt on our mushrooms. And don't be alarmed at this stage. All we're doing is we're going to draw the moisture out of our mushrooms and then they'll be rinsed later on anyway. We have now at this stage we'll set that aside. That's going to take about an hour and what we'll find is 
the moisture gets thrown out and we'll have remnants in the bottom of the bowl. So we'll just set that aside for just now and talk about our chicken. So what I've got again is it's been roasted in olive oil so I just want to take our olive oil and chicken juice. You can see how the fat in the chicken just caramelized in there. So we don't really want to waste anything of that. We want as much chicken flavor in there as possible. Now we'll just set that aside just now. Now at this point, what can you do with this? If we had a roast chicken at home, before it actually got carved to go to the table, if we turn it over, we've got some lovely little secret areas here. These are called the oysters. But it's seen nothing is wasted. We've, we've taken them off before to accompany other things. But there's still some lovely crispy bits on here. You could, if you weren't going to make a salad, this could probably actually make a nice decent sandwich for somebody. Or if you're doing some chicken fried rice, and get as much chicken that's been left on the carcass as possible. You can see how lovely and still moist it is as well. So we're literally creating a dish of nothing. Something that in most cases would be thrown away. Although bearing in mind again, we still use it for stocks, soups. So we'll take as much off big pieces, small pieces. Just want to get as much off those carcass as possible. crispy bits in there as well, which we'll add. So, there we have our crispy chicken pieces. Again, we'll just set that aside and go on with the rest of the salad. Now for the dressing, we've got our roast chicken flavored olive oil. To that, I'm going to add a squeeze of lemon juice. To freshen it up. A little turn of salt. A good bit of cracked black pepper. And we'll take some parsley. We'll just roughly chop that into our dressing. Quick star, and then we have a nice simple dressing. You don't have to over complicate things, just keep it nice and simple. Don't end on choking that pip. So, again, we'll set that aside and look at our pickled mushrooms. Our mushrooms have now been sitting for a good hour. And you can just see the liquid that's come out of the mushrooms. So, next stage we want to do is just want to dispose of that liquid. And we want to take about 100 ml of boiling water over the mushrooms. So, we're just really blanching them. And the salt to get rid of as well. Let them just air dry. Dispose of the water. The 150 ml of rice wine vinegar. It's just less harsh than most vinegars. You could use maybe a, a cider vinegar. To that, a couple of tablespoons of sugar. Castor sugar, granulated sugar. We mat up. As long as it dissolves. So we'll take our mushrooms, which I've just air dried slightly, pop them back into the bowl, and 
my cover. One final mix. And we'll only leave that for about a good couple of hours anyway. You can leave it overnight and we'll just pop that into the fridge for when we're ready to plate up. For our vegetables, we've got a baby carrot, which has just been blanched, which is just plunged into boiling salted water for two or three minutes, along with our tender stem broccoli, and then just refreshed in cold water. We want to just capture that at, at the right bite, and it's still got some firmness to it. Some new potatoes, which have just been left over. I'm just going to cut in half. Lightly griddle our vegetables now. So, for our vegetables, we just want to take a small drizzle of oil and then we just want to take our potatoes first. Just take a moment. I just want the, all the aspects of our, like taking our roast chicken dinner, just by adding more flavour to the salad, by just charring the vegetables right here. Touch of salt, a couple of tons of pepper. The, the peppers are actually giving it a nice smokiness. Just warm the vegetables through, then remove. Just preserve them and just keep them warm. Now to construct the salad, I'm going to take the shikari and I'll just take some of the leaves. crispy chicken pieces and we're just going to scatter some in the little boats some just on the plate itself followed then by our pickled mushrooms which are just, are just tender, but still hold some, some bite on there. So we'll just place them just here and there. Take our roasted vegetables. Quantity wise, 
it's up to yourselves. There's no real rule to it. We'll take our broccoli and just sit that seal now. Our baby carrots just resting. by our chicken skin you can see how it's rendered down chicken crackling a nice wee treat Followed by the roast chicken and lemon and parsley dressing. And it's finished off with some just freshly chopped parsley as well. And there we have my take on a roast chicken salad. Enjoy!